Several years ago, I came across an article by Mark Batterson, and his thoughts greatly impacted how I viewed my spiritual life. If you carefully examine the stories in the Bible, you will find whispering spots threaded throughout. For Jacob, it was Bethel. For Moses, it was a burning bush. For Samuel, it was the tabernacle at Shiloh. And for David, it was the cave at Adullam. For Elijah, it was Mount Carmel. For Daniel, it was an upstairs window facing Jerusalem. And for Jonah, it was the belly of a whale. Without a doubt, there are times when we need to make requests of God. Paul wrote to the Philippians, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Check out the new series, Hymns of Hope, on Praise and Harmony TV today. In this six-part series, Jeff Walling takes us on a journey through studying the Psalms and how they integrate with our modern worship. Not about the songs that were written maybe in the last hundred years or even in the last thousand years. No, we're going to reach back more than 2,000 years to Israel's hymnal, their hymnal of hope. Enjoy timeless stories about how we got some of our most beloved songs. When finally the telegram came through, and it's a famous one, it just had two words on it. The words came from Horatio Spafford's wife, and the two words were, saved, alone. And sing along with the praise and harmony singers. Check out Hymns of Hope on Praise and Harmony TV today.